Um, gay men don't play your games. See? 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 Look, look at this now. Page what of Game Pass. Mean? Also, side note, isn't it weird that these pedo developers are always making games aimed at kids? It's very nasty to make an accusation like that. It's very... But that's a whole other... But how uh, uh, video games are gay now and more gay, which I think is nonsense to talk about because uh, all the games are for everyone. All the games are for everyone and uh, I would play some of these uh, uh, these not manly games uh, we, uh, Tunic, I really loved Tunic and yeah and some of uh, these not manly games I played so let's get in Hey, I want to talk about the great pussification of video games that has happened the past the, uh, It's not gay They were designed the skins and they were designed to have emotes some of these emotes are you can say a girly and stuff but they were designed like uh, fortnite was designed like that yeah and this is this is quite funny for a man to turn dance like this so it's not gay it's comedy relief. It's it's comedy relief. It's 20 years. Is it a soy-based diet doing this? Is it the rise of OnlyFans simping doing this? If you have recently had the thought, I wonder... No. Neither of those. ...what new pumpkin-flavored items Trader Joe's has. Be careful, my brother in Christ. You might be gay. What's wrong with being gay, by the way? What's wrong with being gay, by the way? What's wrong with being gay, by the way? I want to point that out. What's wrong with being gay or lesbian? But if there's one thing that is straight as hell, it's the rock-solid video game. Yeah. Because there are different games. Diff there are different games for different people that you really said that. Games of the 2000s. Your Gears of War, your Medals of Honor, your Chronicles of Rit. All of these games are shooting games and war games. Dicks. These games were masculine as hell, and we want them back, and we're boycotting video. Uh, honestly, I will speak honest. If. There are only games available on the market today. I would be bored of video games, honestly. There needs to be shooting, racing, uh, funny games. In his world, in his world, only shooting games and war games exist. Fuck all the other ones. Fuck all the other ones. Fuck all the other ones. Fuck Crash Bandicoot. Fuck uh, Spyro, fuck, uh, mm, fuck Tunic, fuck all the other funny racing, all that matters to him is racing games, is shooting games, and war games. Sorry, games not racing games, matters. I recently saw this disappointing photo of Phil Spencer being pushed out of the photo by two domineering girl bosses who are probably unfulfilled because they're trying to succeed in the corporate world instead of having children at home like God designed them to. Oh, do you live in the 80s now? That's so sexist, dude. I'm sorry to say, but that's so sexist, dude. Sexist, dude. A girl has a right to work as a game designer. Yeah. A woman has a right to work as a game designer, dude. And don't you love Phil's cute little Doom shirt? Like, hey guys, I'm still one of the bros, right? Look, like, we can still hang, right? Nah, Phil, you're trash. You got cucked, dude. That doesn't say anything. 
Adding to that, he can take a picture with whoever he wants, and, and it doesn't mean that he's less worthy than them. What's wrong with having a, a woman work in a gaming industry? What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I was, are you sexist, dude? Are you sexist? You're useless. So I have found that there are still people out there who deny the simple fact that games have gone woke, homo, and gay in Again. Again. Not all the games, first of all, and second of all, what's wrong with it? In Tekken, there's, there's a character that's basically trans transgender. And I tell you what. I like to play as that character. I'm a vanquisher with that character. So, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. If they're transgender, gay, lesbian, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is, this is not important. What is important is the gameplay. 2020. Not who you're playing as. Before. So in this video, I'm going to literally prove it to you using science. What we will do is read the back of the box description. The Chronicles of Reddick Escape from Battle War. Excellent hybrid of first-person shooting adventure and RPG elements. Self-Hunt Combat. Yeah. Because this game was designed to be like this. Some games are, were not. Some games were not, and that's fine. Everybody is different, and some people don't like playing these action heavy type games. I play all sorts of games if I like it. If I like it, then I play it. Easy as that. ...of six random games from 2024, and then we will read the back of the box descriptions of... That's that's um, very different six game. random games from the 2000s and if what i'm saying is true that's that's very you know what you know what i tell you something this i would play this i would play because this looks quite cool this i would play and the cover attracts my attention true we should notice all the manly games, huh? These are all the man. I know, I don't know about this game. This game is not manly at all. This game is so manly that it doesn't even let you have sex with women. That's only dry camping in this game. This a feminization, pussification, gayification, and a pussification, a gayification of. Everybody is different. Video okay, games that has shut up. I said that enough times already. Happened the past 20 years. And before you bring up that video games don't have boxes anymore in 2024, calm your tits. You know what I mean. So to find six modern games, I didn't have to look very far. I literally just went to the front page of Xbox Game Pass and found these games. This is clearly what Phil and his team of homos actually team expect. Of homos. Are you a troll then? Are you a troll? Just by saying that, I think you are troll, man. ...us men to play. Here they are. Creatures of Ava, Dungeons of Hinterburg, Flintlock Siege of Dawn, Flock, Magical Delicacy, and cool Chia. Now you might say, oh, Andrew, you're specifically picking out games aimed at children. Yeah. No, dude, I'm literally just going to the front page of Game Pass, and these are six games featured on the front page of Game Pass. What? What? The... What the... What? What is this guy saying? Kids, still have, can access Game Pass. It's literally like saying uh, that uh, I went to game shop today, so uh, I expect all the games to be 18 plus. So, I don't know. The kids still can access Game Pass, so I have. I can still buy the. Buy, uh, the by these games, games featured right. on the front page what of Game Pass. Mean? Also, side note, isn't it weird that these pedo developers are always making games aimed at kids? 
it's very nasty to make an accusation like that. It's very. I read about Sweet by Beer Company, and uh, what happened is that they tried to promote the woke agenda, as they call them, uh, call woke, woke games, and um, yeah, and they got harassment because of that, and uh, they doxed people, uh, fans, but even though it's not good to accuse somebody of being a pedo. But that's a whole other thing I'm not going to get into right now. All right, so what games from the 2000s should we compare these with? Dark Sector, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Chronicles of Riddick, Assault okay. on Dark Athena. But what he's And again, all I'm going to do here is read the descriptions and we will compare. 2024. It's not fair comparing this with this. Creatures of Ava. Okay. Let your empathy guide you as you play an exciting action adventure creature saver game. Understand and tame the creatures of Ava and let Um I will I will do this better. I'm the guy that is creating gaming. I'm the guy that only likes shooting games and action games and manly games. I also found out that the two main characters of this game are, of course, homosexual black women because, you and, know, 2024. And, let your I'll tell you again, a drink homosexual black woman and, and what's important is the gameplay. It doesn't... Empathy guide it. you? Like, what the hell? I don't, <laughs> I don't play video games to let my empathy guide me in. Then don't. Then don't play these sort of games. Ooh, I want to be gay and collect creatures and, uh, like. What's his problem? Then don't play these games, Jesus. This game just sounds retarded, let's be honest. Yeah, this game sounds really retarded. 93% people. Very retarded. So now let's compare this with a game from 20 years ago. Why are you, uh, why are you even comparing? Shooting games with adventure games. They would sacrifice everything except each other. Like, damn, dude, just grabs you by the balls. Like, that is... It doesn't grab me by the balls. That is the back of a box. What grabbed me by the balls is knowing that Keihachi is still alive. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm interested now. That is a dope I'm intro good. for a back of the box. It goes on, the night before D-Day, 1944, the paratroopers of the 101st Airborne Division are dropped. It didn't excite me at all. It's honestly missing from the 2024 homo trash. Like, nothing is good anymore. Nothing grabs us. This is why video games' profits are down. What? This is, and they've completely quit catering to their base market of men. Next game, 2024 Dungeons of Hinterburg. Armed with a sword and a tourist guide, explore the beautiful alpine village of Hinterberg and uncover the magic hidden within its dungeons. Master magic, solve puzzles, slay monsters. All this and more awaits you. Okay, forgot him. This is, this game from the gameplay is quite cool. In Hinterberg. Like, okay, I like swords, but based on the game's art style, I know within the first five minutes, we're meeting somebody's non-binary boyfriend. You, you don't know that. You don't know that. Let me get this straight. If the game looks uh, pretty, and it doesn't mean to not be rude here. It doesn't mean that you're meeting meeting a gay or a lesbian or a b or a transgender it doesn't mean that not that it wouldn't matter if you did because if you had them if you had to mean then it will be all right they will be all right what's important in the gameplay not what characters you have what uh, stuff What's wrong with having gay people, uh, lesbian people, uh, transgender people in video games? Are you... Friend. Anyway, like, what's wrong with that? Nah, dude, I'm good. Now compare this with the 2013 masterpiece, 
Ride to Hell Retribution. Back of the box says this. Two fists, two wheels, no rule. Yeah. Very good masterpiece. A very good masterpiece, that it got. Let me just sing that in. No rules. Now, it's a little cheesy, but I already know one thing. Masterpiece. This game okay. has... It doesn't have balls, because you cannot see them. It has balls, but it gets better. The only balls you can see is the cleavage, which you cannot... A lone rider, Jake Conway, locked in a battle to the death against a ruthless gang of bikers called the Devil's Hand. Okay, and you got a hot chick on the back. Like, dude, I'm in. Yeah, you don't... Which you don't even get to hump. You get to dry hump them. And that's different. I want to play this game now. I never knew what this one person meant. Like, guys, it kind of makes me sad that America actually used to export, like, cool stuff to the world. And now it's just homo woke garbage. Not always. Not always. It's not always. Not always. But that is alright. That is right. That is right. As long as they're not hurting anyone, all the stuff that is right. That is right. The protests are fine as long as they don't destroy anything. They don't uh, harass anyone. They don't uh, kill people. Then protests are okay. Garbage that America is exporting. Like, you, I know you dudes in Europe know what I'm talking about. Like, America used to export, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, the Stallone movies, like, all of the... I'm not one to the guy. Jesus, if he was the president or the ruler of the world, the world would be so boring. Jesus. The awesome yeah. stuff of the 80s and 90s. And look at, like, the homo trash garbage that America is exporting today, and it's such a shame. Next game, 2024 Flintlock Siege of Dawn. Step into the boot of Nor Van Anik, an elite m member of the oh, Coalition God. Army, joined by Inky, a mysterious fox-like companion, in their quest for vengeance against the Is gods. It? Guided by Inky. Right. In their quest for vengeance. I want to have that. This animal is cool. Vengeance against the gods. Guided by Inky, who shares his knowledge of the world with you. Your combat skills and traversal abilities will be imbued with its magical powers, making you a duo to be reckoned with. Like, nah, dude, it just sounds gay. It sounds queer. Why is every game like this now? It's always some magical nonsense that never sounds cool. Then play games that you like. And stop complaining. Because everyone is different. It's like none of these developers beta tested any of these ideas with normal guys. I guarantee you get a bunch of straight dudes in a room and they would tell you this idea was terrible. You I'm, don't know. I'm that. sure they wouldn't. I'm sure that uh, some of them will enjoy the game. Oh, but the cherry on top, of course, is this. Black female lesbian girl boss. And, again, and... But that's okay. If, in your opinion, it's important, it, if, in your opinion, it's more important who you play as, then that's fine. Then that's fine. But don't attack these games, dude. He could make this video like six minutes long if he just said, in my opinion, uh, nowadays the game are too woke, as they say, they are too woke nowadays, and the video could be over. And he shown some games, and they didn't find them, and said uh, I don't like this sort of games, and the uh, video could be over. I basically said that I uh, also don't like the game that have uh, colors in them. Hey, them. All right, jumping back to the 2000s. And I know this isn't fair to compare this game, but it just popped off my shelf. 2009 Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 continues the gripping and heart racing action as players face off against a new threat dedicated to bringing... Ha! 
Ha! You don't you Ha! I got to that. You don't like you said you don't like a uh, well no you said you like money video games you said you like money video games well guess what this has, uh, has rising in it and what i can say in your opinion probably a rising game is not money enough in the world to the brink of collapse you know what i wonder dedicated to bring what what he would say to vertical combat games oh i know what he would say he would say something like this well uh i don't like uh, vertical combat games are not mine you know because you drive a new gay car because you drive a new gay car and you are not money enough to fight uh, uh, fight with bare fists. He will say that, will he? I know. Bringing the world to the brink of collapse. Also, if you had played Call of Duty before this, you're kind of already invested. So it's a great tagline. 2024 game, Flock. Flock is a multiplayer co-op game about the joy of flight and collecting adorable flying creatures with your friends. Soar through beautiful landscapes, seeking out rare and elusive I, I, creatures to add to your If I know what the game would be about. I thought. If I know about the joy of flight and collecting adorable flying creatures. Black. Like, well, dude, this maybe I would shit is gay. Like, this is either designed this game looks cool pretty it looks very pretty but i wouldn't play this because it doesn't interest me what he said it was about but uh, the colorfulness is interesting and really cool but it looks pretty for a five-year-old or it's designed for a 30-year-old gay man or it's designed for a woman but none of those people are buying xboxes like what what did you say woman but none it's designed for a 30-year-old gay man or it's designed for a woman but none of those people are buying xboxes like phil you're none of these people are buying xboxes what they they are um, they are buying these boxes what are you talking about? i'm sure women and uh, gay people i, I still play games i'm sure retarded and your company is going to go out of business if you keep this up no they will not because everyone is different all right jumping back and kids still play video games remember so it will never go out of business to the 2000s this is a good one dark, dark sector Ma maybe 2008 become the ultimate weapon the virus the source of your pain your enemy your power unleash the deadly power of the glaive and become the hero like dude there's that's the back of a box right there now i'm intrigued now i'm like whoa a, a virus my power what is the glaive? Like, what is this about? I want to become the ultimate weapon. Like, in the 2000s, games were made by straight dudes. And in 2020, games are made by mostly gay men and women. Oh, that's... That's... That's home... That's... Like, it's, it's that simple. Men, actual straight men... We want power, we want cool weapons, we want... Not all of them. Not all of them. All of them, all of those that he said, men want, all of those that he said, I'm a man, but all of things that I, I couldn't give a toss if... Uh, I'm uh, having all of them. As long as the game is fun, that's what matters to me. What, you know? I don't care. 
uh, what color do game have? Who you playing as? Um, as long as as long as I like it, then let me tell you what I wonder how he would how he would give his opinion. No, he would stay still say it's not manly enough because uh, you're not a man, you are cat. Deadly okay, powers and glaives and becoming the ultimate weapon. That sounds cool. But if you're a gay man or a woman or a child, none of which are people who actually play video games, then you want to collect adorable creatures. What? N they, do people still play video games? I'm, I'm sorry. 2024, Magical Delicacy. And I've made fun of this game before. A wholesome pixel art platformer. Cook magical delicacies from a vast collection oh of ingredients Good. in your own shop. Explore an unfamiliar town and deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. Like, no, dude. W what the fuck? Yeah, no straight guy has ever thought, I want to deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. That is something... Maybe he actually thought of it. Who knows? You don't Women know. would do, but that is not something a straight guy would be like, ooh, I want to deliver tasty treats. Jumping back to a classic from the 2000s, Deus Ex Human Revolution 2011. The big text it says, the cry. truth will change you. Like, damn, son, what truth? I have to know. What is being hidden from me? It goes on, critically injured after a deadly attack. Adam Jensen undergoes a life-saving operation, augmenting him with powerful cybernetics. Caught in the middle of a mass conspiracy, Adam's choices will affect both himself and all of humanity as he seeks answers across the globe. Like, dude, I am rock hard right now. Like, I want to... What? Then, uh, my, then maybe you should uh, lay off these games because, uh, because it sounds like you're gonna bust some. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> to play this game i don't want to play anything about collecting adorable creatures or delivering gay treats to people's houses i want to play whatever human revolution is about and it's funny because like i can't put my finger on exactly what made 2000s games I, so good. i love this game by the way crack down good but it has something to do with men. Dude, we're dudes and we want games about dudes. And we want I can name a few. A Silent Kill remake that you get to now. A Silent Kill remake. A... This game that you saw. Just go play these games and stop arguing. Just play these games and stop offending the other games that's fine if you if you like this if you like why games are mostly man and uh, why are they all action based it's fine don't make this video then don't make this video offending the other games uh, because it was men playing the games. It's always been men playing the games. So as long as Sony, Not always. Sony and Xbox don't realize that... Not always. Tell that to Pokemon. ...this obvious fact and keep designing games for 14-year-old girls, for women, and for gay men, um, I, I truly think Xbox is going to go... Go to Pokemon Twitch. I'll, I'll give you a challenge. Go to Pokemon Twitch and tell her that uh, she shouldn't play uh, video games because she's a guy. Tell her that. Go out of business, and Sony will go out of business if they don't figure out who their audience is quickly. 2024 game, Chia, a tropical open world adventure. Take control of any animal or object you can find and jam on your fully playable ukulele. Like, no, dude, this just sounds like some cozy garbage trash game. Like, if I wanted to, if, if I, what? hold on, hold on, hold on, 91%. So 
it's not trash. If I wanted to chill out and do nothing, I would just go do something besides play a video game. But when I play a video game, I want to have like an intense experience. I that Xbox seems to think that their target is gay men, five-year-olds, and women. Mostly. Same as prestations, probably. And women, well, well, to tell you, kids still play video games. Women play video, some, uh, some video games. Women play some video games. And also gay people. Um, but the super obvious fact, as I've said it again and again, unless you are human, unless you're not a human, you play video games. Well, some of uh, some of humans don't, but uh, but unless you are not a human, you play v video games. Some humans still play video games, if they, even if they, okay, lesbian. Um, kids, woman. I I know a Twitch streamer. She's a woman, uh, and she plays stick and night. So what do I know about? Seriously. All right, and let's look at the final game here that I found from the two thousands, and it is called, called the Chronicles of Riddick: Assault on Dark Athena. Very good, compelling. Comparing, uh, uh, comparing the main character, which is a kid, with uh, the character which is a grown man. Very good. Well done. Well done, Jude. Well done. We are very proud. You already know this box is about to go hard. At the top, it says in big letters, "There is power in darkness." See, like men, we. And um, I'm not like a. I'm not like being offensive to this game. Uh, it's just because he make he make, he offends the other games. I'm not being offensive to these games. I played some of these man manly games. I played like um, what, uh, now I need a thing. Hold on. Uh, um, hold on. I played mm, what game what family game did I play? Mm. Oh uh, on top of my head Driver San Francisco This is a manly game you have a man. Uh, another game, GTA, San Andreas. Uh, another game, GTA Five. We want power. We're all. Ah, yeah, but uh, depends what GTA you mean, because GTA Online is not manly. You know why? Because you can create a woman. So he wouldn't accept that game. Things we want. We want darkness. We want intensity. We want shooting. And we want sci-fi. Not all people. Not all people want the same stuff. Riddick, you know? Riddick brings the darkness with stealth action and brutal melee combat. And then for the first time, play as Riddick in multiplayer on System Link or online. Below that, it says, be Riddick, the most ruthless criminal in the universe in his latest chronicle. Riddick has been captured by the Dark Athena, a mercenary ship hell-bent on eliminating him once and for all. Using his intense hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, explosive firepower, and lethal stealth, Red Riddick must shut down the maniacal Captain Ravos and her deadly crew when Riddick steps into the darkness. No one is safe. Like, dude, <laughs> don't you want to play that game? Darkness, power, prison, um... These th th these describe the kind of games that guys, that men, that straight men want to play. And it's just... It I can't tell you. He likes Manhunt. And I also do like Manhunt. Manhunt is a good game. See the I'm not offending this game. 
I'm saying that everyone is different. And I like some uh, uh, funny game, uh, uh, some uh, uh, comic relief games, racing, uh, racing simulation. Uh, yeah, just funny games like this, for example, let's say. The video game industry completely bottoming out and completely dying right now because they're they're chasing audiences that don't exist. No. They don't, in my opinion, video games are not dying and will never die. You know why? Because even though you don't like a company, you would still support that company. You know why? Because that's a video game company. And video games, don't matter what, are not gonna die. Well, it depends what damage they Maybe do. Maybe so some platform well, will how die. Bad they do but it. the gaming is never gonna die. Um, game in, don't play your games. Three percent of the population. Wait, this guy is contradicting him, himself. He's saying that game people play a lot of video games, but then he says there are three percent of the population. So what? Do they play a lot of video games or do they play small video Look, games? See, Few see, video. see, see. See? 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 Look, look at this number. Look at this. Look at this. See? See? See at this? Kids don't play. If, maybe, if you can think only America. Play Xboxes. Women don't play Xboxes. Stray dudes only play these video games. Well, that's uh, that's completely false. So, developers, if you are listening, give us manly games. Give us. Then go look. I'm pretty sure there are lots of manly games out there. I'm pretty sure there are lots. Then go look. Jesus, the gaming industry would be so boring if that's this dude was leading it. Jesus Christ. Power. Give us darkness. Give us violence. Give us brawny buff dudes who beat the crap out of people with our sick powers. And if y'all do this, if y'all quit being pussies, if y'all quit pussifying the game industry and actually give us manly games... We will buy games again. We will buy games again. I buy games. What I, what games I like, I buy. I think he thinks nobody bought Tunic. I bought Tunic and I pretty liked it. You you want PS Five is still releasing panel games. I'm sure. On PS4, release title, Informal Second Son. This is a manly game. Uh, Silent Killer will release. Um, Hooked Masculinity in, in video games. In my opinion, there's no masculinity and femininity in the video games. There shouldn't be. No. In my opinion, it doesn't, it, it should not matter who the character you play as and who is the character uh, dress as, dressed as and who is the character, uh, honestly, honestly, that's quite sexist. To say, that's quite sexist to say, you cannot have female in video games. 
But it is more satisfying that you cannot it's have women in the gaming it. industry. In my opinion. Yeah, that'll be it for the video. That was me reacting to that video. And uh, yeah. If you liked it, press the button. And also don't forget to subscribe if you to help me create that community. And also don't forget to click that, that bell icon to not miss any future videos. And for now, have a nice day, be safe, and see you next time. Bye! <clears throat>